Is it really possible for a tiny tweak to your morning coffee routine to ignite your metabolism and put your body into full fat burning mode for the rest of the day? Check out the link in the video description now and transform your morning coffee into a metabolism boosting super drink. Taylor Swift gushed over U2's support after receiving a sweet gift when she landed in their home country of Ireland for her era's tour. Already feeling that Irish hospitality. Swift, 34, wrote via her Instagram story on Friday, June 28, revealing that the Irish band, made up of Bono, The Edge, Adam Clayton and Larry Mullen Jr., sent her a bouquet of flowers. At U2, thanks for always being the classiest coolest. In addition to the roses and orchids that U2 sent, they penned a heartfelt message to Swift since she's performing three days in Dublin this weekend. Dear Taylor, welcome back to our hometown, leave some of it standing, the group teased, referring to Swift's fans creating earthquakes at several tour stops. U2 signed the card, your Irish fan club, Bono, Edge, Adam and Larry. Swift's warm welcome comes ahead of her Dublin shows at Aviva Stadium on Friday, Saturday, June 29th, and Sunday, June 30th. The Grammy winner is fresh off a three-day stint at London's Wembley Stadium. While the shows were a massive success and featured boyfriend Travis Kelsey's stage debut, Swift received some criticism from Foo Fighters singer Dave Grohl while in town. Grohl, 55, dissed Swift during one his band Saturday. June 22, show in London, alleging that the pop star doesn't perform her songs live. I know we were joking about the Taylor Swift tour earlier. I know that she's on her era's tour, he told the crowd, teasing, I'm telling you, man, you don't want to suffer the wrath of Taylor Swift. Grohl then poked fun at Swift's world tour, which began in March 2023, saying, so we like to call our tour, the era's tour, because I feel like we've had more than a few eras, and more than a few f, King errors as well. He quipped, that's because we actually play live. What? Just saying. You guys like raw, live rock and roll music, right? You came to the right F. King place. Swift seemingly fired back at Grohl's claims during her Sunday, June 23rd, show in England's capital. Every one of my band members, every single one of our crew, my band who's gonna be playing live for you for 3.5 hours tonight. They deserve this so much, she told her fans. And so does every one of my fellow performers. And you just gave that to us so generously, we will never forget it. While Swift got some shade from Grohl, she received a lot of positive support from celebrities in attendance at her shows, including Prince William, who brought his eldest kids Prince George and Princess Charlotte to the June 21st concert. William, 42, posed backstage for a selfie with Swift and his children as well as Kelsey, 34, who was in town to cheer on his girlfriend. Hugh Grant was among the A-listers who took in one of Swift's shows in London and gushed about the experience. Dear at Taylor Swift 13, you have an incredible show, an amazing and V-hospitable team and excellent if gigantic boyfriend, hashtag tequila shots. Grant, 63, wrote via X after seeing night two of the concert. Thanks so much from one aging London boy, wife and thrilled eight-year-old hashtag half-girl half bracelet. Swift was in awe of Grant's sweet message, writing back on Monday, June 24th, as a long-time Hugh Grant stand this tweet is very important to my culture.